Hello, my name is Sira Kakizimana. I am a, a researcher at in the Institute for Poverty, Land and Agrarian Studies Plus at the University of the Western Cape in South Africa. The title of uh, my presentation is how agricultural commercialization is changing and shrinking the commons in Africa, lessons from Ghana, Kenya and Zambia. One of the main characteristics of the current agrarian transformation in Africa is uh, the deepening of land commodification across the continent. Um, of course, commodification of land is the basis for some, uh, but not necessarily uh, all types of agricultural commercialization. In our study, we compared a large uh, plantation or estate uh, medium scale commercial farms and the smallholder contract farming as the three of the main models of commercial agriculture being promoted in parts of the continent. We undertook this comparative three country study, as I mentioned, in Ghana, Kenya, and Zambia. Um, different pathways and the models of commercialization uh, have distinct uh, implications for the access to land um, and the more generally for the preservation, privatization and the expansion of commons. We investigate uh, the impacts of uh, these three main uh, models of agricultural commercialization um, on land, uh, on land access and the land markets and um, wider ranges, uh, 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 wider changes that result. In the case of Kenya, we found that a large scale uh, land grabbing and dispossession that took place a century ago um, has led to the encroachment of land water and other natural resources with uh, quite significant labor as well as uh, land complication with uh, a kind of intergenerational agrarian pattern of uh, temporary or permanent migration of local people of both genders and all ages uh, to seek wage uh, work in a nearby large uh, scale commercial farms or urban centers. Uh, there were smallholders producing green beans for European market uh, in a private small holdings, uh, which are the outcome um, of prior land reforms via the million echo scheme of the 1960s, uh, who depend quite heavily on the commons such as the water and the forest. Our main argument in this presentation is that the dichotomy, which is characteristic of uh, the debate on the right strategy for agricultural transformation uh, in Africa, that focuses on whether to promote large scale versus smallholder farmers, uh, in our view, uh, it's somewhat misplaced uh, as there is uh, an important transition and uh, heterogeneity taking place between these two ends of the spectrum uh, with uh, quite significant implications for agrarian resources and those who depend on these resources for their livelihoods. Our findings across the three countries show that uh, there is uh, the medium uh, commercial farms and uh, the increased significance that is changing the, uh, 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 um, the shape of farming and the agrarian structure as a whole. In our three focal countries, we found that uh, uh, these medium scale farmers have transformed over the years by acquiring more land and the capital, adopting modern agricultural technologies and the increased production and the market participation. While in many cases, uh, these medium scale 
farmers uh, do not necessarily expand into the commons. They are nevertheless buying out uh, the poor smallholders and cause significant changes in land markets, which, which, which cumulatively lead to land concentration, um, affect negatively uh, sharecropping and uh, lead to rising land prices. Across uh, the three countries, we found indeed that uh, the rise of medium farms has uh, simultaneously caused the rising of land prices in the local land market and the decline of land access for the majority of uh, original land users. In the case of uh, Ghana, for instance, about 85% uh, of the respondents in the medium scale commercial area uh, believed that land availability had a decline over a period of, uh, of 10 years uh, compared to 77% and 51% of uh, uh, respondents making similar observation uh, in the plantation and the outgrower uh, areas respectively. Uh, our view is that uh, in the absence of significant increases in rural employment opportunity in and outside agriculture, smallholders are relying more heavily on the commons. For instance, we found in Kenya uh, that uh, landless people and the uh, extruded smallholders uh, gave out small plots uh, in the local forest uh, to produce potatoes for home consumption and the sale on uh, local markets. We argue that uh, this particular agrarian uh, dynamic of uh, differential accumulation and dispossession resulting in the eviction of some and the land concentration of others amounted to increased significance of the commons and the increased pressure on them. Uh, we therefore conclude that uh, even if this agrarian phenomenon does not necessarily lead to outright loss of commons, changes towards medium and uh, large scale farming seems to be heightening competition and the uh, pressure on the commons. Thank you for following this presentation.